This is a bit of fun. This is a fish, obviously. Maple, walnut. Split them and join them together as you see here. And then what I'm going to do now is stick these two together. Take this shape, split it apart and show you how we end up with that. I know it's a bit of fun, it's a serving board or a wall hanger, but it's just something different rather than just a rectangular board. I'm going to pop this out of the way. What we do here, you're going to make sure that your two boards are going to go together when we stick them together and they're going to be totally opposites. And you've got to get that as perfect as you can. And then when we take the shape on the bandsaw and swap the colours, you will have your dark and your light interacting with each other. It just adds something else to the board. Just a, It's a bit of fun, just add something else. We're going to just pop some double-sided tape. Nothing special about this, apart from it's expensive. But it allows you to hold the board really well and it's something that you can get off with a major a major problem i'll put four strips across here that should be enough to hold what i want Now, rub it in, get it as flat as you can. You don't really want any kinks in it. Peel off the paper. This is quite a good way of achieving short term adhesion. And what I'm going to do, once I've lined these up, is I just clamp it up, just for seconds, while we actually, to get it, get it stuck together. Right, so stand it up, so you know now you're going to be, you've got your right, your right board, you're going to bring this around now, you know you want to get that pretty good on the end there pretty good on the end there okay so we know where you are you know you've got the line running through what I do I just give it a quick clamp up just to push the two together making sure the double sided tape has got old just in case that in between the sanding and the time you've left it, it just moves a bit. And there you've got a board all stuck together. You know exactly what the crack is now. You can cut it, rejoin it on the bandsaw. And what I'm going to do first, I'm going to just run it over the, 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 the planer to just make sure that the edges are perfect then when I take it apart there'll be no problems with joining it back together so I'm just going to run it over the planer swapping the timbers over I know everything's going to fit perfectly back together you don't have to do it but for me it just makes life easier later on so I'm just going to pop this on there I'm just going to just plane it up both sides then I'll just run it and get a smart edge so the whole total thing is square right here we go That's now beautiful. So that board is now as one. I'm just going to trim the ends on the saw here now. 
We checked this earlier, so I know this is square. I'll take this off, and then we're going to go and put it through the bandsaw. So what we have now is a board which is parallel all the way around. It's, it's lovely and square. So when I take the shape of the, the fish design in and we swap the color, everything the color is over, we know it's going to fit back together as one. No big problem at all there. So everything's great. So we're now going to put the lines on and cut them on the bandsaw. What we're going to do now, we're going to take these lines out. I've, I've put pencil lines on. I'm not going to follow them. It just could give me an idea of where I'm going to start and where I'm going to finish. I'm going to curve them through. There's no particular shape. It all adds to the character of the board when it's finished. So right, I'm going to cut these shapes out and we can see then how it's going to look when it's finished. Okay, so now we've cut the board. I know it's a lot of extra work in a way because you've already cut it and joined it and one to another. Why not just make a fish out of one piece of timber? Uh, that's because I don't want to. I like to just make something that I hope is going to make somebody think. And now I'm going to, the fish is going to be that sort of shape. I'm now going to take this all apart and swap all the colours as we go. And you'll see exactly what I'm trying to achieve it's not easy getting it apart because i've clapped it together so occasionally there there's the old um, swear word uh, we're refraining today of course we've got to get it apart we get something down in there to try and just break the seal i then put a chisel in okay tap it in with a hammer then ease it up. We're going to sand it all up once we've finished. Having eventually managed to get all the double-sided tape off on this really hot day, we've now broken it back, sorted the pieces out, and now what we're going to do is we're going to reassemble it so that the colours correspond in opposites like so. There'll be obviously two of these boards, and when I stick them together, I'm very careful how I do it. The fact that you I've trimmed it first, means you've just got to really try and bang out the edges, keep it going as it is. You can see how the effect is going to look. I know you could just leave it as it is, as a, as, a, as a rectangular board. I like to add a little bit of fun to some of what we do. So I have my specially created template. Lay this on top. Take the shape as I've started there. Move this back. So I'll just do this to not have any particular size just to not have too much waste i'm going to cut this out roughly with the with the, with the bandsaw and then finish it off when it's all stuck together with the with the uh sanding wheel over there so once we're off of there i'll give you the idea that board's going to look like when it's finished you got the shape big eye in there and there you'll have your fish with your stripes. Unique bit of fun. And uh, yeah, I just like the look of them.